Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below. Hey guys, now follow me on Instagram at Ultra Maximus Reviews and Twitter at Ultra underscore underscore Maximus. Links in the description below. Oh, hey, look, it's He-Man. That is not... That, that is. That actually is He-Man. You know, something just feels missing. That was awesome. You suck. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review. And today we're finally going to take a look at the new Masters of the Universe Origins line. And of course, we have He Man, the most powerful in the universe. Now, I found this uh, figure at my local Walmart in center of Indiana. They only had He-Man. There was no Skeletor, unfortunately. And this entire wave is starting to pop up uh, across the country. So people are finding whole waves now. I think the original uh, wave was He-Man and Skeletor were the first push-outs then followed up by all the others. So I was able to find He-Man and I also found a Battle Cat and a Prince Adam in the Sky Sled. So those will be reviews unto themselves, of course. So let's get in there and take a look at the packaging. So here we have a He-Man in the packaging, looking all kinds of cool. And my neighbors are having a fence installed, by the way. If you hear some noises in the background, it's just some construction. I apologize up front. But this is a very cool set. It's uh, based on the old uh, figures from the 80s. They just kind of upgraded the paint and articulation on them. And instead of having the original toy head sculpts, uh, the head sculpts are all kind of designed off of the mini comics, which is why they're calling it the Origins line. Uh, so the heads are going to be a little different from what we're used to in the 80s. And I'm okay with that. It's something different. I'm really digging the articulation. However, I feel like they should have come with a swappable head that had the original style uh, head sculpt on it. Now, the San Diego Comic-Con He-Man and Prince Adam did have original head sculpts that they came with to swap out. And I believe these figures were going to have the same, but it was dropped probably for production cost. However, I think it would be a fun idea if Mattel actually put out uh, like accessory packs that had additional weapons and armor uh, with different colors like they did in the 80s and then include those alternate head sculpts because these figures are designed to pull apart and switch arms, legs, heads, chests, armor pieces, uh, not only with the Masters of the Universe line, but also with the WWE Masters of the Universe or I guess the Masters of the WWE Universe line, right? So, um, yeah, uh, is what it is, I suppose. So it says new for 20 at the top. We get the Masters of the Universe, not He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, just Masters of the Universe. It says retro play on there, old style of card, which I'm definitely digging the art. So just kind of a close up. So yeah, we got the logo, we got the Eternian boulders flying out, the meteorites, there's He-Man. It comes with a mini comic, just like back in the day. He's got his sword and shield back there, uh, looking pretty cool. And of course it says Mattel down in the corner. Uh, back of the package here, again, reminiscent of the old cards in the 80s. We get some really fun artwork up here at the top. And it says, with the mystical power sword, the mighty He-Man protects Eternia from the forces of evil. 
And then it's got all the other figures in the first wave here. And then it says, hey, he can hold the power sword. And uh, he's got action posing, uh, which, you know, is kind of a callback to what the gimmicks were in the 80s. However, I find it interesting that the back of the picture has him holding a power sword that he doesn't come with. It's the full power sword like you would get with the Classics line. And the San Diego Comic-Con He-Man had that sword as well, but uh, supposedly this figure is going to have the half sword, much like we got back in the 80s, which I don't know. I, I'm a fan of the full sword. I guess we'll see when we get it out. So just kind of a close up here, really fast. Yeah, definitely cool. I am digging that. And then here are the other figures in the wave and the action posing. So yeah, definitely very fun, a very, a very cool. I am digging this and uh, well, uh, uh, one thing I wanna do is compare the uh, back card here to another figure. So here we have He-Man from the Masters of the Universe with Faker John Cena from Masters of the WWE Universe. And I just wanted to see the two cards side by side. I think this is pretty interesting. Now, obviously, the color scheme is a very different. This one's very blue and purple, um, where this is kind of the blue and then the red. Uh, the boulder patterns are different. I figured they'd probably be the same, just a reprint, reprint in a different color, but it is not. And um, they both have the little mini comics, which is cool. Um, this is nothing but meteorites exploding out. And this one goes down into the gray skull ring, uh, which is kind of interesting. And of course, we get the WWE logo up here. And then uh, the Masters of the Universe really has a very flavor of the movie look uh, with the Masters color up here and then the way they got the universe there really looks like the 87 movie compared to uh, the old 80s cartoon style. But definitely fun to see them side by side. I just wanted to do a comparison. I figured you guys would like that if you did add a thumbs up. So yeah, there we go. That's, uh, that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get He-Man out of the box and see what we think. So here we have He-Man out of the packaging, and you know what, for the most part, I really, really, really do like this figure. Now, I know a lot of people are not going to be down with this Origins mini comics uh, head sculpt, and to be honest, it's taken me a little while to get used to it. Again, I would have preferred if it came with an alternate head with the original 80 sculpt on it, and again, I think... And again, I think Mattel would do really, really well to put out accessory packs with uh, different weapons, maybe different colored weapons and those alternate heads for these figures because, well, it would just look better. I am, however, really digging the articulation on these figures, and he does come with all his classic accessories, uh, which is very cool. He's got some very primer colors going on with the yellows and the reds and the oranges which is not necessarily a bad thing. Now, he comes with his shield, the power sword, and then he comes with his axe, which, you know, typically most He-Man figures do. Uh, so I'm just gonna take, ah, don't fall, buddy. Ah, so take the axe out right here. Um, again, I mean, it's a pretty standard axe. We've seen this before um, with the Masters line and uh, the WWE Masters. Now, the shield is a little bit different than the classic shield from the 80s. Um, it's got a, a piece that slaps around the wrist, and then it's got the hand grip uh, that it kind of slides into. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty decent. I'm definitely digging that. And then he's got his power sword, and this power sword is very similar uh, to the uh, vintage power sword because it's half of a power sword. If I can get it to focus here. So this is going to plug into the other half that Skeletor has. Now I will say the sculpt is better, um, but I wish that he came with a solid sword, kind of like the classic figures did. And it's a shame that he doesn't, but I guess it is what it is. And then of course he's got uh, the uh, harness where you can put the power sword in the back like that, just like uh, the classic vintage figures. 
Now, articulation on this figure, very similar to the WWE uh, Motu figures. His head moves back and forth, moves up and down on a ball joint. It can be removed and replaced with a different head if you so desire. The arms do move out that far. They twist all the way around. There is a single joint at the elbow that also twists. The hands are the same way. Uh, they twist and then they have a hinge at the wrist. He's got a twist at the upper waist. His legs are on ball joints, so they kick out back and forth. His knees have a single hinge right there, and they also twist like that. And he's got uh, a swivel at the upper boot, which is nice. There is a hinge joint at the foot, and he's got that crazy ankle rocker pivot we love. With this being his widest possible stance, with both feet still flat on the floor. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, again, this is an interesting sculpt. Not many people are going to be down with this because it's not the original 1980s figure. It's based off of the mini comics, so his hair is a little shaggier and the face is a little bit more Conan looking to me. I do like how uh, we've got the paint apps all over the harness. I believe the old He-Man figure just had the paint apps on the front of the harness. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I definitely dig that. He's a very orangey color, uh, which, you know, he's supposed to have a tan, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's okay. I wish they would have put a little uh, black wash in the hair to give it a little definition. But, you know, it's, it's not a bad, but I do prefer the original. So taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, the sculpt looks good. It reminds me of the old vintage figure. I like how the bracelets are completely painted. Uh, the sword, again, it fits really well in his hand, uh, which the, the full-size swords don't really fit very well in their hands. I've got an uh, Adam figure that has a full sword, and I'll talk about that when I review him. Uh, we got the harness there, uh, which is nice. The little uh, spot to put the sword or axe in, very cool. Muscles, um, you know, done pretty well. Um, yeah, overall, not too bad. Very bright red uh, cross on his chest. Uh, which, again, more cartoon-like. And finally, looking at the legs of the figure, um, this is where it gets kind of iffy for me on these figures. Uh, number one, the knees kind of look funny because they've got that joint, um, so they're supposed to still have that classic kind of look, but it doesn't quite work. Um, also, as the legs come up to the loincloth, seems like there's not enough cloth up there to me. Uh, and then the fur around the top of the boots are yellow, where on the vintage figure, it was all brown. The brown boots and uh, the brown fur on the top. I, I can't remember if the cartoon He-Man had the yellow around the boots. Leave a comment down below. Um, let me know, uh, I, you know, I haven't gone back and looked at a picture yet. Um, but I'm pretty sure they were all brown on the cartoon as well. Um, and while I do appreciate the, you know, uh, differences in paint, it doesn't look right to me because I'm used to the all brown boots. For comparison, here we have the Origins He-Man next to a vintage He-Man that's in the process of becoming a Wondar Man. Uh, and Hero 2 Classics, Son of He-Man. And as you can see, he's kind of halfway between uh, both lines. I do think it's much more bright and vibrant than the original series. It's got a bit more of that filmation cartoon look, which I don't mind at all. Um, but it doesn't have that serious kind of 7-inch scale that the Classics line had, which I like, but I still like this line too because it pulls at the nostalgia strings. And here we have the Origins figure with a couple of the masters of the WWE Universe, which they all share the same body molds, uh, the same kind of lines. So these figures are actually interswappable. You can pull parts off of them, the arms, the legs, the heads, the chests, and you can swap them out, the different armors and the different body parts, which is a fun play gimmick for sure. And I just like seeing these guys side by side as we get kind of two Masters of the Universe lines simultaneously this year. So is the Masters of the Universe Origins He-Man a figure that you want in your Motu collection? I'm going to say yes. 
Now, I understand a lot of collectors are not going to like this line because they love the classics line. Well, unfortunately, that line's done. It's run for, what, 10 years now, and we got a lot of figures out of it, and that is very cool, but if you don't change up the product line, you're not going to keep selling product. And this is kind of a nod back to the uh, vintage figures, which I appreciate. It's giving those vintage figures new articulation, kind of more cartoon looking colors, and it's putting them on mass retail, which the uh, other ones weren't. The only time you saw classics figures on the shelf were like in Think Geek and GameStop, whereas this is Walmart, uh, you know, and everybody can find these if, if Walmart has them in stock. Now, it's rumored that these are going to go into more production come the first of the year and go to other retailers like Target and such, which will be nice if they do. That way more people can get these figures. Um, again, other people are not going to like this because they've got those mini comic face sculpts. Again, it's a bit different. I think the original intent was to be able to swap the heads out, uh, but probably for cost-cutting uh, reasons, this is what we ended up with. So again, I think it would be very cool if Mattel gave us accessory packs that had those additional heads and maybe some varied colored weapons, uh, maybe some solid swords and various other things. I think that would be a lot of fun. So, you know, for $15, I really like the figure. I think it's worth it. And as a Motu fan, it was a must-have for me. So there he is, He-Man from Masters of the Universe Origins. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below.